Our stomach has an excellent ability to expand and shrink depending on whether there is food inside it. The size of an empty stomach is around 75 milliliters, but it can expand up to 20 times, reaching a size of approximately 1.5 liters. Sometimes, it can expand up to 50 times, holding up to 4 liters of food and drink. Prolonged periods of overeating can lead to a temporary increase in the stomach's capacity to accommodate more food, due to its natural elasticity. Satiety hormones are released when the gastric wall is stretched. This hormones are cholecystokinin and decrease production of ghrelin, which is hunger hormone. Also, during gastric stretch, vagus nerve also is stimulated, which causes sense of fullness and relaxation. The larger the stomach, the more food is required to stretch it significantly. It means the more person eats, the more stomach is adapt to handle high amount of food and it expands and it requires more food. And vicious cycle is created. The more you eat, the more you want to eat. That's why eating less and more frequently is recommended. It prevents the stomach from adapting to large meals, a progression that leads to further weight gain. Additionally, a larger stomach produces more ghrelin, the hunger hormone, making a person feel hungrier. After eating, ghrelin levels decrease and the person feels satiated. However, people with larger stomachs may eat more due to higher levels of ghrelin. An important question arises, does the stomach expand permanently if you overeat regularly? Theoretically, overeating can change the muscle structure and hormone levels, potentially expanding the gastric size permanently. However, a more common scenario is the stomach adapting to handle larger meals, becoming accustomed to a larger quantity of food, and the person feeling a consistent need for more food to feel satisfied. This isn't a permanent stretching of the stomach, but rather a change in that set point for how much food it takes to feel full. Is it possible to naturally decrease the size of your stomach without surgery? Physically shrinking your stomach is very difficult, but some degree of reduction is possible. For example, calorie restriction and eating smaller amounts can shrink your stomach by around 15% in several months. It's important to note that you can significantly influence your stomach's capacity and sensitivity to fullness cues. For example, consuming frequent meals, comprising five to six smaller portions throughout the day, can prevent overstretching your stomach this approach not only keeps you feeling satisfied for longer periods but also aids in gradually shrinking the stomach. Moreover, hormone levels associated with hunger, such as ghrelin, decrease, while satiety hormones like leptin increase. These changes are associated with the size of the stomach. Although the hormonal response is complex and somewhat oversimplified here, it is realistic to say that ghrelin, the hunger hormone, decreases as the gastric size shrinks. Leptin, produced in fat tissue, increases when a person loses weight. Gastric shrinking is correlated with a smaller intake of calories and, eventually, weight loss. As to whether stomach size decreases over time, the answer is yes. The size of the stomach can decrease by up to 40% by the age of 80, though this varies among individuals. Different types of food have varying durations for which they stay in the stomach. Carbohydrates typically remain in the stomach for about one hour, proteins for two to three hours, and fats can stay for as long as six hours. High-fiber foods, especially those rich in soluble fiber, can slow down gastric emptying. In the context of bariatric surgery, which is often considered for individuals with severe obesity and accompanying health conditions like diabetes and hypertension. The stomach capacity usually decreases significantly. After such surgeries, the stomach's capacity is typically reduced to about 300 milliliters when full. These figures represent the stomach's capacity when it is completely filled.